Hello, welcome to Medical Ward BSN 3B Group 3, Second Rotation, NCM 116 RLE, Nursing Management or Nursing Care Management 116 RLE, Medical and Surgical Nursing 2, Virtual Clinical Duty. This is our second week and of course our focus today is case scenario of patient GH diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. So that will be our focus for our case scenario for this week. But before that, please allow me to share this premise. I am here for you. It's literally my life's work to help you grow. And also, please allow me to share with you our learning outcomes for the week. On completion of this case study, student nurses will be able to first, build knowledge related to the patient's medical experience. Second, continue to develop a comprehensive assessment and monitoring skills. Third, recommend nursing interventions based on the case presented. Fourth, define the roles and the contributions of student nurses in the care of medical patients. Fifth, justify op optimal therapy based on the current understanding of the case. So this will be the basis of our uh, expected outcomes at the end of our case study. And also, please uh, let me remind you of the following instructions. All critical thinking questions presented within or after the case apply to this case study. You have to create a brief and to the point responses, and of course, there has to be no flowery words. When asked to provide several answers, it must be listed in order of priority or level of significance. And fourth, base all your answers on the data that is presented and do not assume information that is not provided in the case. Further, please follow the format of your output, especially on its font style, font size, paper margin, and of course, your paper size. So there is an appropriate template that I have given you already. And then save it as PDF file and submit all your requirements per group on date specified as its deadline. Send all your requirements via the official email address of your clinical instructor. And it is advised that you will submit all your requirements on or before the set deadline of submission. So as much as possible, you have to submit all your requirements as deadline. Furthermore, kindly follow this format in saving your requirements for easier monitoring. So I have given you the examples already last week. For daily requirements, abang underscore joseph underscore w2 day two or day one underscore ncm116 rle. And for weekly requirements, abang underscore joseph underscore w2 underscore ncm116 rle. Okay, let's now proceed to our case analysis. Let's have patient GH diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. Patient GH is 65-year-old female, an Islam by faith, and is currently residing at Barangay Balulang, Cagayan de Oro City. She was admitted at the J.R. Borja General Hospital for further evaluation of her manifestations, as stated by his significant others. She has a five-year history of progressive forgetfulness. She is no longer able to... After extensive neurologic evaluation, GH is diagnosed as having Alzheimer's disease. Her husband and children have come to the Alzheimer's unit at your extended care facility for information about this disease and to discuss the possibility of placement for GH. You reassure the family that you have experience dealing with the questions and concerns of most people in their situation. GH's husband states, how are you going to take care of her? She wanders around all night long. She can't find her way to the bathroom in a house she lived in for 43 years. She can't be trusted to be alone anymore. She almost burned the house down. We're all exhausted. There are three of us and we can't keep up with her. You acknowledge how exhausted they must be from trying to keep her safe. You tell the family that there is no known treatment, but Alzheimer's units have been created to provide a structured, safe environment for each person. You try to comfort the family by telling them that the problems that they are experiencing are common. You explain that family support is a major focus of your program. The physician ordered a medication to patient GH, and these are the following. Aricept or your Donipizil, 5 mg once a day PO. Exelon or your Rivastigmin, 1.5 mg twice a day PO. And of course, your Namzeric or your Memantine and Donipizel, if uh, 28 mg uh, Memantine and 10 mg Donipizel once a day PO. To further study the condition of patient GH, her physician ordered the following diagnostic tests CT scan, MRI, and mini mental state exam. 
While the results of the tests are not yet available, her significant others opted to go home and have her patient be managed at home so as to prevent the increasing hospital and diagnostic bills. The patient was discharged on a home against medical advice status. You as a nurse were able to reinforce the teachings to the patient to patient GH, GH significant others. Let us now have the high five critical thinking questions review. First, how would you explain Alzheimer's disease to the family? Again, how would you explain Alzheimer's disease to the family? Number two, the husband asked, how did she get Alzheimer's? We don't know anyone else who has it. How would you respond? Again, the husband asked, how did she get Alzheimer's? We, we, don't, have, we don't know anyone else who has it. How would you respond? Number three, after asking the family to describe GH's behavior, you determine that she is in stage two of Alzheimer's three stages. Describe common signs and symptoms for each stage of the disease. Again, after asking the family to describe GH's behavior, you determine that uh, she is in stage two of Alzheimer's three stages. Describe common signs and symptoms for each stage of the disease. Number four, the daughter expresses frustration at the number of tests GH had to undergo and the length of time it took for someone to diagnose GH's problem. What tests are likely to be performed and how is Alzheimer's disease diagnosed? Again, the daughter expresses frustration at the number of tests GH has to undergo and the length of time it took for somebody to diagnose GH's problem. What tests are likely to be performed and how is Alzheimer's disease diagnosed? Number five, describe specific nursing interventions that are part of national patient safety initiatives aimed at minimizing the risk of harm for GH. Number five, again, describe specific nursing interventions that are part of national patient safety initiatives aimed at minimizing the risk of harm for GH. Let's now have the daily requirements. For daily requirements, day, day zero Tuesday case scenario loading for Wednesday basic is GOSODPA CRA 1 nurses notes 1 for FDAR number 1. Initial knowledge about the case includes physical assessment, pathophysiology, diagnostic tests, and also your drug study. For day 2 Thursday, the basic is SODPA CRA 2 nurses notes 2 or FDAR 2 weekly evaluation, reflective journal reading, critical thinking answers. And of course, you have to have your initial knowledge about the case, problem list, nursing care plan, and discharge plan. For weekly requirements, of course, you know this one already. You have your introduction, nursing health history, physical assessment, anatomy and physiology, pathophysiology, diagnostic test, drug study, problem list, nursing care plan, discharge plan, learning outcome, and of course, your references that utilizes your APA style. Deadline of submission for your day 1, March 10, 2021, Wednesday, 11.59 p.m. For day 2, March 11, 2021, to Thursday, Thursday, 11.59 p.m. And for your week 2, this is week two. Week two requirement deadline is March 15, 2021, Monday, 11.59 p.m. We are all on our own journey, but in this class, we all need one another and will help one another grow. These are my contact details. This has been Joseph Bahi and Abang at your service to make your best even better. To God be all the glory.